Hi guys, and welcome back to another Football Manager episode. Next up, Atletico Madrid in the Conference League. We lost to them 1-0 last time. They are favourites, but we're second in the group, which is nice because we beat Sparta Prague. I'm hoping that we can, you know, sneak some up, but I'm not too hopeful for it. So... Let's see how we're going to play this because Lavi is out and he's he's our main midfielder. So Stefanovic is going to have to come in. Uh, Stefanovic in. Strongest team. Get onto them? Question mark. <laughs> uh, home against Atletico Madrid. We lose 2-1. This time we score. More shots. More shots on target. But we couldn't keep them out. What was that then? How bad are things in the dressing room? Didn't speak to him. So we were the better side then. We didn't deserve to lose that game. But we came out with a loss. Maybe it's a tactic for this Wolves game. Playing the Gagan press. Going back to what we had before. Maybe it'll work a bit better. But I'm not. I'm really not sure. It's a risk. As changing a team and tactics is always a risk. But it's a risk I'm willing to take if it means we can get out of our bad slump of form. Won one game out of. Have we played 10 or 9? Oh, we have played 10 now. Uh, 10 games, one win. Not not good at all. And all our players are so tired because <laughs> we're in all these competitions. So we're going to make some changes to the team. Is not not available. Salomon wants a rest. Salomon wants a rest, but we are coming up to an international break. So Gagan press away at Wolves. Please do something. Two one win away. I said do something and they did. Alcaraz and Zapata with the goals. They had eighteen more shots than us, seven more on target, but nah, who cares? We get the win. That's what we like to see. Looks back to strive forward. Yeah. Reverted to a different formation and it worked. Arezzo. Uh, one appearance away from having to pay Burnley 5.75 million that we don't have by the way the best 50 players in the world I mean we've got none but I can't say I'm surprised Martinelli in there for Bayern Munich Erdegaard Bellingham 27th nice winner Haaland and Bappe Fifth. Ossimhen third. Fair play. Ossimhen's such a good player in real life, to be fair. I would not be surprised if he didn't get a move to... I'm not saying Napoli aren't a top side, but like a, a side that competes in Europe soon. Because Napoli, they never seem to do well in Europe. It's quite weird because they're a good side, but they always seem to go out of competitions a lot earlier than you'd expect. Sunic injured, but we got an international break. I didn't see how long he was injured for, to be fair. But hopefully this break and our next game being home against Watford, only just noticed, we need the win here. We really, really do. 
we've we've escaped out of the relegation zone, but home at Watford, we need all three points pretty desperately. Although I can't remember the last time we actually won two games in the Premier League in a row. Doesn't seem to ever happen. We always seem to win one, lose two. Just seems to be the way it goes. But Ivan Lima, two goals, three assists for Portugal under-21s. What a performance. Baxter injured two to three weeks concussion. That's not what we wanted to see. Because our backup goalie doesn't really want to play for us. <laughs> Dahlberg. He's played a very limited amount of games for us. But we're against Watford in a massive, massive match that we need the points in. Leeds have just beat Man United as well. How frustrating. So Dahlberg comes in. No spare goalie on the bench. Lavia can come into the side as well. Salomon still wants a rest. You're not getting it. I'm, I'm so sorry. But custom Gagan press against Watford. We draw one all. Arezzo with a goal. I mean, we didn't lose. So, <laughs> it's something to be happy about. But we really should should win at home. I don't mind if we if we're gonna draw away and lose at home against a solid like that, I'll take that. That's you know, they get one point, we get four. That helps us at the end of the season. But drawing against them, I'm not too happy with that. And we drew with Villa who are in the relegation zone as well, so not amazing. But as I said could have lost it, we didn't lose it, so we'll take it. Next up is a very, very important match. Away against Sparta Prague in the Conference League. Now we did, we did struggle. No, we did win our first game, sorry, but then we lost two against Atletico Madrid. Draw, that's all we need. If we draw, it's fine because we won the first time. If we lose, obviously, we've both took three points off each other, so it doesn't really put us in a great position. So we need to draw this one. Deco showing pleasing progress, he, he's a very good player, or well, at least he looks it. Lavia hotly tipped for world under 21 footballer of the year. Who else is there? Makoku, City, Rafael Luiz, Linus Getcha. Yeah, look at Makoku's stats. That's ridiculous. Rafael Luiz, we'll take a look at. Not that I'll see us having any chance of getting him. I feel bad for Padilla because he's actually a very, he looks like a very good player anyway, but he's not getting a chance because oh, we're struggling with that formation. What I will do, however, because I've just noticed, is that Ilias is missing. Oh, Milambo can come on the bench. Ilias. Away at Sparta Prague, in need of a point. We get a win. And we smash them again on stats. Arezzo and Alcaraz with the goals. We've, yeah, we've qualified. Brilliant. That is exactly what we wanted to see. Qualified for the knockout stages. 
And we qualified early as well. Away at Southampton, then Arsenal, then Leeds, then our last game in the Conference League, then Sheffield United. Okay, so these three Premier League games here, not including the Arsenal one, are big games for us. This is a potential chance to get away from you know the bottom of the league although we are already nine points off mid-table we've started so badly six points off Sheffield United in 13th as well but we have got a game against Sheffield United so if we get within three points of them and then beat them it's all okay Liverpool beat Everton 6-1 Watford beat Burnley 3-0 which has put us in the relegation zone Third. Why do you have to do that? Sheffield United beat Leeds 3-1 as well. Makes that gap even bigger. Liverpool 20 games unbeaten in the league. Okay, away against Southampton. This Tottenham beat Villa 5-3. So Villa are now well, even worse off because they've lost a the game. But away at Southampton, right? Salomon needs. A rest. I can't afford to keep playing him. He's just gonna get frustrated. Is Polak any good? To be fair, not really good enough. Play better as a fullback. Two-star fullback. Fullbacks rather than wingbacks. Custom Gagan press, go for it. I was tempted to go back to a vertical tick attacker, but we lose 2-1. They missed a penalty to end up battered us. This Gagan press seems a bit, a little bit iffy. A little bit iffy, indeed. Deco reached the yellow card limit, so he's gonna miss a game against Arsenal. Don't mind that because it's against Arsenal. you're making positive improvement. Beraldo waiting on contract talks. Star player, of course. Happy with that. Receive £500. Very nice. Deco out for William. Is William injured? No. Okay, nice. Salomon can come back in as a left back. Deco suspended Baxter still out do we want to be so narrow again do we want screw it uh Go for a direct counter attack, get the ball up to our forwards, and then there's three of them. That's probably terrible logic, but we lose. Oh, we lose three now, okay. And maybe best not to try new, very attacking things against Arsenal, but home against Leeds next. They're 14th, we're 19th. This has been an awful start to the season. 
I mean, we're not far off halfway through. Five more games and we're halfway through the league. Home against Leeds. Right, okay. Perezzo wants a rest. So we'll rest him. Gonna go back to um, inverted wingers. Salomon again, he's just shattered. I mean, Pedersen comes in. Nearly, nearly didn't see that. At home against Leeds. <laughs> we lose two one against Leeds. We play terribly. <sighs> what on earth is going on? I am very confused as to as to what's been going on here because we really are struggling, really struggling. What does he? I think the squad could benefit from being told you have faith in them at the present time. Okay, sure. Thanks, Dana. Cheers for that one. Why can't we play? Borak BL in the league instead. 15 games in, 9 points. Oh, we're playing shocking. Shocking football. Home against Barnsley in the FA Cup, sure. I, I want to get knocked out of that, to be fair. Too many matches. Beraldo, new contracts. Sheffield United away next. That Leeds game was so important. I don't know how I didn't win it. I need to figure out what my best team is, what my best lineup, the best way to play. I wonder if. You know what I haven't looked at ever? My set pieces. Sure. That's what that's saying. Yeah, Captain. I can't lie, I didn't know you could do this. I had no idea you could do any of that stuff. Uh, what is our way of playing? I don't know. We win 3 0 at home against Borak. Lavia 1, Ilias 2. Lavia's out for 5 to 8 days. How frustrating. <clears throat> Sheffield United have double the points of us 16 games in. That is how poor we are performing. 15 games in, sorry. Double the points. I don't get what is going on. I don't understand why we're struggling so much. Liverpool really aren't struggling, are they? I need to start to understand it so that I can correct it, but I don't get why we are struggling as much as we are. 
Salomon is back fit. Is Deco fit? He is. Baxter? Probably not. Yes. Okay. But Lavi is out. So what's going to happen? Sunjic is going to play there. And we're going to go for a 4 it says a 4 2 4 to be fair. It's more like an attacking 4 4 2. That's what I like to call it. Um, what style of play? Balance Gagan Press. Sure. Gonna go for this. Away at Sheffield United, we lose 1 0. We just cannot stop losing. Villa and Watford draw, that's perfect for us. But we cannot stop losing five in a row without a win. I remember, start of this episode, I said, look at the games coming up here. Watford, Southampton, Leeds, Sheffield United. It's chance to get some points on the board. We lost three of them. And drew the other, so we got one point from those four matches. First knockout round draw today. Home against Dynamo Kiev. Fine. We are home now against Man United and then away at Blackburn if we lose that one away at Blackburn I don't know what to suggest I've got no clue so what have we got here a formation that's not working and a team that are playing Terrible. Two attack him. Or do you want to be more attacking? We're going to be more attacking. Just, just go for it. We lose 3-1, as to be expected. The next game's the big one. Away against Blackburn. How are we going to play this one? It's going to have to be something... It's going to have to be a win, obviously, but... This season has been awful. And this game... Could either make or break our season, to be honest. If we lose to Blackburn, who have only won one game all season and really struggled, it sort of shows how much trouble we are in. And I think we'll be out of a job pretty soon if we carry on going this way. So we're going to go for something pretty out there. And it involves quite a lot of attackers custom gate and press away at Blackburn we win 1-0 Arezzo with a goal that is so so important takes us above the relegation zone we needed that desperately and we got it we got it Burnley in the relegation zone they beat us Villa's only win against Blackburn. Burnley have only won three. Tottenham, us and Blackburn. Watford beat Blackburn. Yeah, Blackburn have been pretty poor. We're one of only three teams to have lost over ten games. Hopefully that can see us have an upturn in form. But I'm not 
I'm not overly confident about what's just came out of my mouth, to be honest. Because we've been in very poor form. However, we're going to end the episode there. So make sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more Football Manager content.